An I-Team exclusive, a fire chief under fire after a scathing report all but calls him incompetent. The chief tells Agit Lemore he still feels he can lead his department. Agit joins us now with a copy of the report you'll see only on 9 News. Agit? Well, this is the review. Miami Township Hamilton County trustees hired a longtime trusted fire chief to conduct of their own fire department. And what it concluded shocked them and their chief. Yet no one in the public has seen this report until now. Miami Township Fire Chief Steve Ober looks cool and collected as he opens the door to this new state-of-the-art fire station. But he's been feeling the heat from this outside review. Basically, this report says that you're incompetent. What would you say to that? I would say that I have weak areas, but I wouldn't say that I was incompetent. Ober got the top job almost two years ago after 29 years as a volunteer, then full-time. Within months, underlings, from firefighters on up to his top assistants, began complaining. The report cites safety issues have been ignored, racial slurs shoved under the table, an incident where a lieutenant shoved a female firefighter never got written up, and much more. The report concludes, your fire chief does not have the skills or the ability to continue in his current position. He has lost the confidence and trust of the officers, and I don't think he can ever gain that back. Would you agree this is a scathing report? Yep. What was your response? We have to make improvements, and I've made mistakes. <laughs> Ober agreed to talk to us along with the elected official who supported his promotion to the job. You're the trustee in charge of fire service. Do you trust your current chief? I'm confident in the job my chief is doing for the community of Miami Township. Jack Renninger says he trusts the report's author, too. Retired Green Township Fire Chief Robert Weitzel acquired a stellar reputation in decades on the job. But Rininger stands by his man, despite a line that challenges the chief's integrity, saying he lied to his chief officers. Did you lie to your officers? Never intentionally, and that, unless that's their perception. That no, I mean, I've never lied. Now, that whether that's their perception is another side of it. None of his employees would talk to us on camera or on the record, citing fears for their jobs. Ober says his years as second in command did not prepare him fully for the top job. Maybe I was not as experienced as I needed to be. And so he agrees with the report's assessment that he was overwhelmed. Yes, I was definitely overwhelmed. I felt that every time somebody walked in the door, I needed to fix it. But he says he's learned to delegate, is taking management classes, and disagrees with the report's assessment of his future here. Do you believe you can gain the confidence of the people in your department? I believe I can gain or have gained the confidence in the majority. I don't know if I'll ever gain 100%. I think Steve's got a way to go. Uh, but I still feel that Steve was the only person to pit in that job. I just felt like Steve earned his way into that job. And he'd have to earn his way out of it. Yeah. And you don't think he's earned his way out of it? Not yet. I don't. I need some help or guidance or at least an evaluation of the department so we knew nowhere to move. So you welcome this report? Absolutely. As scathing as it may be, you can only improve if you know your deficiencies. It's one way to turn a negative into an opportunity. Both men insist none of the problems behind the firehouse doors have impacted service to the community. They challenged us to come back in a year to measure progress. Hopefully after the same evaluator who put together this report comes back. They believe he would reach a different conclusion. We will follow up to let you know. Clyde.